Hi, I'm Ann Z with Z Sisters Pickleball. And I'm Carrie Z. You've probably been hearing about the pickleball craze from your friends, your family, and your co-workers. Is pickleball really that easy? Yes. Is pickleball that easy if you're a tennis player? Absolutely. Is pickleball really that fun? Oh, yes. Is pickleball easy if you're a senior? Yes. Is pickleball easy if you're a junior? Yes. Is pickleball really easy if you're a non-athlete? Yes. We're going to show you step by step how easy it is to play football. We're going to share with you 10 steps plus some bonus tips if you stay to the end of the important things to learn about football. Let's begin. Why pickleball is easy to play? Simplicity. Hit the pickleball over the net. Compact court. The court size is smaller compared to tennis, which reduces the amount of running. Lightweight equipment. Pickleball paddles are lighter and shorter than tennis rackets, making it easier to handle and swing, especially for beginners. Low impact. Pickleball uses a lightweight ball, which doesn't have to be hit hard to go over the net. Gentle learning curve. Pickleball is known for its quick learning curve, meaning that beginners can quickly grasp the basic skills and start enjoying the game without extensive training or experience. Social aspect. Pickleball is often played in doubles, promoting social interaction and teamwork. Quick rallies. Due to the small court size and slower pace, there can be many long rallies, which is rewarding. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fast rallies too. Versatility. Pickleball can be played both indoors and outdoors, on a designated pickleball court, or even on a tennis court with proper lines and a portable net. Fun Factor. Pickleball is a highly enjoyable game that combines the elements of other racket sports, creating a unique and engaging experience. The combination of strategy, teamwork, and friendly competition makes it an appealing and easy to play sport for many. And last but not least, friendly people. Need I say more? So you wanna play pickleball? Number one on the list is a good court shoe. Multi-directional movement equals stability. This is what I think of running shoes or flip-flops on the court. While wearing a running shoe, it's not stable enough and you don't want to turn an egg. Number two on the list of things you need to play pickleball is a paddle. The paddle is a very important part of the game since you're going to use that to hit the ball over the net. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a paddle. In fact, you might borrow one from a friend or from your local pro to start with. Paddles come in all different shapes and sizes. Number one is the cost. Maybe your budget only allows you to pay $10 for a paddle. That's great. You can start off playing pickleball with that. Prices go all the way up to $150 or more, depending on if they're graphite, composite, honeycomb, all sorts of different laminates, and grips and shapes, and makers. But a paddle doesn't make a player. Think about Gigi Fernandez, the tennis champion. She won 17 Grand Slam titles in doubles tennis. And she played pickleball with five different partners, five different paddles in five different tournaments. And guess what? She meddled in all of them. Her skills superseded paddle. Good paddle can help if you're a player with a little more experience, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on it. In fact, I would borrow a paddle from a friend or your local pro before spending the money. And then you can demo and see what you like and what you don't like. Weight is important, the composition is important, and your budget is important. Those three things are really the key to getting the right paddle. You need a pickleball or pickleballs. They come in different brands and different colors. It's kind of fun to mix and match. We have the outdoor ball that has 40 holes and we have the indoor ball that has 26. And here's a good tip. Put your initials on them so you're not gonna lose them. Practice my serve or drill with a partner. I use my pickleball caddy. It holds a number of balls. Pickleball caddy allows me to pick up the balls without having to bend over. 
I simply push down. As you can see, the bars are movable and they capture the balls. During a game change or in a timeout, I always use my water bottle. I love the kind that hangs on the fence with these little hooks. I have to keep hydrated when I'm on the court. Ready to go. Here are three reasons to keep hydrated while playing pickleball. One, maintain energy levels. When you're dehydrated, your body has to work harder to cool itself down, which can lead to fatigue. Staying hydrated helps your body stay cool and prevents fatigue so you can play your best longer. To prevent injuries, dehydration can lead to muscle cramps, which can make it difficult to play safely. Staying hydrated helps you improve cognitive function so you can make better decisions on the court and play more effectively. To recap, carry a water bottle with you on the pickleball court and sip throughout your game. You won't be sorry. So important to protect your eyes. In sunshine, I'll go with It's a barrier between myself, the ball, and the sun. Safety warning. When the sun goes down indoors or flatter light, I like to use a slightly tinted lens. Again, I've got to protect my eyes. The pickleball could come off of my paddle, it could come off of my partner's paddle, or coming straight at me. My eyes are my biggest asset. I love these glasses. Before I hit the court, I put on sunscreen and also lip balm. Check with your dermatologist what's right for you. Here's my visor. I always wear my visor and my glasses. That way I'm shielded from the sun, keep my hair out of my eyes. Ways to protect your skin and face. Apply sunblock with 30 SPF or higher. Apply lip balm generously. Wear hat or visor while playing. Wear sunglasses while playing. Find shade when you can for relief from the sun. Continue to reapply sunblock every two hours. And I know I'm ready to play. When I'm on the court, I always wear a cap. I also have my glasses on a croquis so that I can't lose them. When I get done playing, my hat is full of sweat, so it keeps it off my brow. And I know I've played hard today. You want a good hat or visor that's made of breathable material such as cotton or mesh. It also should fit snugly, but not too tightly. You don't want it falling off in the middle of a point. A visor will have a little bit longer bill than a hat or a cap, whichever you prefer. Also choose a hat or visor that's stylish and matches your personality. Have some fun. You wanna play pickleball and you don't know what to wear? Comfortable athletic wear. Today I have on hiking pants. It's a little bit cool, so I have a fleece and I have two other layers on. Keeping warm is important, but after I get warmed up, I take off my fleece and I've got two more layers on. When you look good, you play well. That's a confident pickleball player. Nice shot. A good partner is supportive. A good partner is encouraging. We've been playing together for over 55 years. And we've had a few balls go through the middle, but not very often.
a good partner never gets mad when their partner messes up. After all, nobody's trying to make a mistake, and it happens to the best of us. Three, five, and a two. You go. Me? Ah. <laughs> that was a close nice one. Nice hit. That, that, that one. Good place. Right on. <laughs> you go? You want to play pickleball? Here are the different parts of the court. We start with the baseline. Your feet must be behind the baseline to serve. In singles and doubles in pickleball, it's the same size court. This is the sideline. It's also the same size as a badminton court. And here's the other sideline. This is the non-volley zone, including this line. You can volley from behind the non-volley zone. This is the right side service box. The left side. The net divides both sides of the court. The pickleball court is 20 feet wide and 44 feet long. And that makes each service box 10 feet wide. The net height is 34 inches in the center and then 36 inches high at the net boost. The non-volley zone is seven feet deep. The net to the non-volley zone line. Don't volley in there. The serve must be hit diagonally or what we call cross court. It also has to be beyond the non-volley zone line. In. First server always begins on the right side. If we win the first point, we get to serve on the left. Three parts of the serve. The paddle edge must be below the wrist. There has to be an upward swing, and we must strike the ball belly button or lower. Bounces on the we have only touched on some of the important things you need to know before playing pickleball, like safety, shoes, paddles, skin, eyes and sun protection, and what the lines on the court mean, as well as how to hit a basic serve. As a new pickleball player, you will continue to learn many more rules, how to hit the various shots, and other aspects of the game. Coming up next are some bonus tips from Z Sisters Pickleball that we promised. If you have questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and we will answer all of them. And be sure to subscribe and like our channel if you want to learn more about the game of pickleball. Thanks for watching. Here are some bonus tips. Play pickleball for the fun of it. Pickleball is a low impact sport it makes a great option for all ages and all fitness levels. It's easy to learn and can be played indoors and outdoors, allowing for year-round enjoyment. It's a great way to make friends. There's places to find out where to play, like places to play. Check the description below for a link. How can I learn and improve my pickleball? Well, finding a pickleball coach is one way. Play with someone more skilled than you or maybe even join a pickleball club or league to play in that has players of varying levels. Practice regularly, alone and with others, to improve your muscle memory and overall performance. If you ask 10 players why they play, you might get 10 different answers. But the main thing is for the camaraderie, enjoyment of being outside. It's a fun social activity and a sport for all levels and ages. It provides a good workout. It's easy to learn. 
But in the meantime, get out there and play for the fun of it.